We're going to turn now to the extraordinary war of words between the president of the United States and the female mayor of hurricane battered San Juan, Puerto Rico. After the mayor criticized the administration's response to the unfolding disaster on the island, the president tweeted out a tough response creating an online uproar. We're going to have an, a report from the ground in Puerto Rico in just a moment, but we start here with ABC's David Wright, who's in Branchburg, New Jersey, near the president's golf course. David, good morning to you. Good morning, Dan and Paula. The president's getting ready to head down to Puerto Rico this week, but the fight he picked with one local official after she dared to criticize the administration's response ensures that the trip could be politically fraught. From the comfort of his golf club here in Bedminster, another tweet storm. The president lashed out at San Juan's mayor. Such poor leadership ability by the mayor of San Juan and others in Puerto Rico who are not able to get their workers to help, he tweeted. They want everything to be done for them when it should be a community effort. 10,000 federal workers now on the island doing a fantastic job. This is a time when everyone shows their true colors. I have no time for distractions. The mayor spent part of her Saturday wading the streets, using a bullhorn to reach stranded residents. I hope he gets a chance to really look at people, look at people's faces, see them drinking from a creek. Trump suggested her criticism of the administration's response is politically motivated, tweeting, the mayor of San Juan, who was very complimentary a few days ago, has now been told by the Democrats that you must be nasty to Trump. And playwright Lynn manuel Miranda tweeted, she has been working 24-7. You have been golfing. You're going straight to hell fastest golf cart you ever took. Right now, we have disasters in 20 different states that we're working. Don't forget about Harvey, don't forget about Irma and all the work that's been done. You know, get rid of the noise and start focusing on the progress that we've been, that, that has been made. Late in the day, after a round of phone calls, the president softened his tone, insisting the administration is working together to help the people of Puerto Rico in every way, adding to the people of Puerto Rico do not believe the fake news. Of course, the reality of the situation is that most of the people in Puerto Rico will not be watching the news because they don't have power. Well, the president is taking a drubbing online for what people are saying is attacking storm victims, including that strongly worded tweet from Lin-Manuel Miranda. Dan and Paula? Yeah, certainly a lot of criticism directed towards the president this morning. Thank you, David, for your reporting. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.